Welcome to Other Levels. Today, you will learn how to create the Service Level Management Dashboard using Microsoft Excel. Join our channel membership and enjoy the full video tutorial. You can get this template by visiting our online store, other-levels.com. Let's start. You can note the font formats and styles used for the different parts of the dashboard. First, we'll show you how to get the KPIs values. Here is the dataset. Let's begin by creating the pivot tables. Go to Insert menu and create pivot table. Add feedback ID to the values field and change the field calculation to count instead of sum. We will use this data in the dashboard. Hence, let's input total cases in above cell and format it as shown in the tutorial. Now, give reference of pivot table count for total cases value. Also, we will use if error, in case of error. Repeat the steps for other values. Let's add this data to the dashboard. Insert a text box from the insert menu. Give the reference of value from pivot table in formula bar. The last update date and comments are next. We've already the comment and the dashboard update date on the dataset sheet. So, just give the reference of both of them through formula bar. Let's move to the next part, the pending cases within SLA. Insert a pivot table and add the full case status to the rows field and the values field. Use the VLOOKUP formula to get these two specific cases counted. Then sum them to get all pending cases within SLA. Finally, calculate the ratio between complaints and non complaints. Next, the current case's status. We will initially create a donut chart for status of current cases. Let's insert stage to rows and values field. We will insert the status to rows field again for inserting proportion percentage of cases status by changing the calculation to a percentage of column total. Now, we will insert the donut chart using this table. Then move the chart to the dashboard. Next, the resolved cases. Create a pivot table by inserting month in the row field and feedback ID in the values field. Now, change the feedback ID calculation to count. We will now create a table for dashboard reference. Let's input month in the first column. Then, input the value using VLOOKUP function from the pivot table. Now, we want to highlight the month with maximum and minimum value. Hence, we will use if and max formula as shown. Repeat the steps for displaying minimum value by replacing max formula with min formula. Let's insert a clustered column chart for monthly resolved cases. It's time to interestingly highlight the chart with maximum and minimum values. Select the minimum point column in the chart and change the series overlap to 100% and change the color to green. Repeat the steps for maximum point column in the chart and change the color to red. Remove all the chart labels and legends.
Repeat the steps for minimum value by replacing red gradient to green gradient. We will also calculate the average monthly cases and total cases per quarter using average function for all cases and some function for every three months for each quarter. Next, banking with part. We will initially create a pie chart for banking with status. Insert banking with status to rows field and values field. We will insert the banking with status to rows field again for inserting proportion percentage of status by changing the calculation to percentage of column total. Now, we will insert the pie chart using both this table and format it highlighting main branches in the first chart and online banking in the second chart. Let's move both these charts to the dashboard. Next, the customer type part. Insert customer to row field and the values field. Let's insert the table again as done before for reference of values in the dashboard. It's time to input the customer values using VLOOKUP function from the pivot table. Now, insert the icons for customer types from the insert menu by searching for the relevant icons. Next, the analysis per region. Insert departments to row field and SLA and CSAT to the values field. Change the calculation of SLA by area as a percentage instead of direct values. Now we will create a summary with same format as used before for dashboard reference. Let's input the field by using VLOOKUP formula. We will input all the values of region names, YTDSLA, percentage and CES on the dashboard. For creating a regional view, we will insert an online map image from insert menu and searching for online pictures. Next, the feedback part. Let's create a pivot table by inserting feedback type status to rows field and values field. Let's insert the feedback to rows field again for calculating proportion percentage of feedback type. We will change the feedback value field to count. We need to insert additional pivot tables for monthly values of each feedback type. Let's insert the feedback type field to values and filters field and month to rows field. Start with creating table for complaint values in the dashboard and hence, filter the pivot with complaint feedback. Initially, we will give reference for total feedback count. Then, we will find feedback count of selected feedback type from previous pivot table using VLOOKUP function. Now, we will repeat the steps to display feedback percentage. That's all for today's video. Hope you learned something useful for you. Join our channel membership and enjoy the full video tutorial. On the other hand, you have an easy way to directly purchase this template from our website other-levels.com. Thank you and see you in the next video.